I'm Tia Curtis, and today I'm quilting a quilt using curved rulers. So, I love to use rulers on when I'm quilting. When I first started long arm quilting, I was very intimidated by rulers. I thought they were scary, but they're absolutely not. They are essential to, um, to quilting. I use them on almost any quilt that I custom quilt. So you can get curved rulers from tons of different designers. This one is a Deloa Boomerang, and this one is a 10-inch curve by Linda Herka. Now, I love Linda Herka, Herka's rulers. I have, I think, all of them. They're fantastic. They're easy to see through. They're well-marked. They're just really, really good rulers. And I don't get anything, no affiliate link to, to her rulers, I just really like her product, okay? So let me show you how I use the rulers when I quilt. The most important thing is finding a path. And when you find that path, it just, just is really quick to do it. So I wanted to kind of create a secondary design on this quilt, um, on this quilt. Yeah, so I wanted to create a secondary design on this quilt where we turn these star blocks into almost circles. And that's when I'm using my 10 inch curve ruler. So let's start right here at the beginning and we'll curve our way all the way down and all the way back, okay? So I'm gonna be using regulated mode for my, for my quilting. Oops. So I'm going to be using regulated mode. It's, you know, I, it's my preference when working with rulers because the machine will kind of pause when you're not moving it anymore. So bring your thread up. And you'll notice on this curve ruler, maybe you'll notice that there's a, there we go, that there's a center line. So I use this center line to line up my curve because I want it to look nice. So I line it up with the curve or the seam in the star. So here we go. So I've got my center line lined up. I've got my machine ready to go. And you don't need like Herculean strength because if you push too hard, you're pushing on the the base plate that's attached to my machine. I'll show you when I get over to the other side. Um, you have to have a ruler base with your long arm if you're gonna be using rulers. Otherwise, they wiggle back and forth and you'll break needles and damage them. So, it's just a gentle, gentle pressure, just so you hold the ruler in place. It doesn't slide around. At one point I painted some glitter spray paint on the back of this ruler and it gave me just a little bit of grip and I liked that a lot, but it's all kind of rubbed off since then. See how we're making just little curves? it's looking nice but it really looks incredible when you add a second line a second quarter inch line to your quilting it does a great job defining the work so we're just traveling down the quilt it's always the goal to try not to have to cut your thread too much So now we're here, and I'm going to go ahead and echo this line and get up here and do these. So on the way back, I'll be working on my echoing. And echoing, you know, means that you're just making a line right beside the one you already made. Now 
now, so not all curved rulers can you use both sides, but with Linda's you can, it's the same curve. And I like that a lot. I don't like a ruler that I can't use both sides of it. So now let's keep on going. So now we're echoing all the way. And I'll just continue this all the way down the quilt. Lining up our center line, kind of eyeballing it to make sure it's in the right spot. We know that we want that the needle is a quarter of an inch from the side of the foot. So when we're lining up our ruler, you know, make sure we're giving it that extra space. You can hit your little target. So normally I would go ahead and quilt in the middles of these designs, but I'm just really not sure what I'm gonna do in the middle. I thought I was gonna do some curved cross hatching, but it's too busy. So I'm kind of thinking of a different design. I'm letting it play out a bit in my mind before I do it. So yeah. So that is quilting curves with a ruler. If I decide to do curved cross hatching, I'll bring you back and I'll show you how I do that because it's, it's not hard. It's just, you know, a technique. Hope you're sewing lots of great stuff. Bye.